All right, boys, I'm here to answer the question today as to whether or not Needle Chris Alter actually replaces your favorite arts looping servant in the mobile game Fate Grand Order. Does she replace your space Ishtar that you spent all of your hard earned money on? Is she going to be replacing Kama Avenger or even Ibuki Doji in the near future? We're going to talk about that all today in this video. And I even have a spreadsheet with numbers that I went ahead and made to make things a little bit easier and more easier easily lay out some of the points that I'm going to be making in today's video. But before we begin, if you have not already, make sure you leave a like on the video and you subscribe to the channel for that sweet daily FGO content. Also, if you're interested in seeing me play games live like FGO, some Souls games, even Pokemon sometimes on a rare occasion, I do that every weekday over on my Twitch starting at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and going generally until my voice gives out. So yeah, with all that being said, let's go ahead and just start peeping some of the details over here. Now, First and foremost, I want to say that no, I actually don't think that Nido Chris Alter replaces really any of the other arts loopers. And I think that's kind of by design because she is, compared to some of the other guys over here, she is a like technically free servant, not like free in that like, oh, anybody can just get her. But, you know, then again, let's see what happens with the next JP anniversary if they're going to give her like a free five star or something. But no, she's available on pretty much every banner. Like she's not locked in any way. So I think that's actually by design. She's really good, but there's little things in her kit. Like, for instance, the fact that she doesn't, say, do the space Ishtar thing and stack NP damage every time she fires an NP that does ultimately bite her at the very end. And if we go over and we look at the spreadsheet here, you'll see that Nidocris Alter does really good damage, right? Like, her damage is very strong, even more so than Space Ishtar when she starts off, unless, you know, she gets the arts buff, but even more so than someone like Ibuki Doji over here, and it's consistent through all three nodes, but that's actually kind of the problem. The problem is that, like, unlike, say, Space Ishtar or Kama, who have, and you can see that Kama has a lot of variables depending on how you want to use Kama, she's kind of just staying static, and that's not exactly super great. It's good that she's consistent, but it's also good to be, like, consistent or maybe even building up to something, say, like, Shiro Muramasa, right? That guy is building up every single turn, so he's getting stronger and stronger, and then you get a really strong wave three, and it makes him very effective. Or someone like Kama, if you want to use her and you want to save her, buffs can have an insane wave three and absolutely just deck people in the schnoz right and for the reason why i think she's actually uh, a little inferior to ibuki over here because people might say well she's doing a little bit more damage and she's got a bigger battery than her the thing that's not really being taken into account here because this is all neutral damage is that ibuki right here is a berserker right and so she's super effective so she's actually going to be doing more damage than nido chris the fact that they're already comparable in damage without the super effective and the fact that ibuki with their damage mods would do more and is just better as a looper because of her high i mean barely naturally higher np regeneration if you're wondering what the um the percentage here is the percentage is their natural np gain and then these are their np hits it's just that like ibuki is built just slightly better than nido chris or you could say maybe that nido chris is built slightly worse than ibuki and i Again, I think that's by design because, again, she's like available in every single banner. Why are they going to power creep a servant that literally just came out two seconds ago? And then I'm just waiting for the comments of people being like, bro, we have like three different like quick AoE farmers that we got back to back to back. But then again, I think that's the reverse case where they were just all not as good as T Lady. But some other things to kind of go ahead and talk about here, because I also just wanted to kind of throw this out there for people that did summon for Space Ishtar, especially after doing some testing over the last few days and actually like kind of breaking this down and really looking at it and kind of just slapping it here in a spreadsheet. I think Space Ishtar is still like just the best person you could be going with, right? Because Space Ishtar is kind of like my embodiment of good, consistent, solid servant, right? Because if you compare her in like most scenarios out of 10, she's just going to be looking better, right? Like, as I already mentioned, she's already going to be looking better than Nido Chris Alter. Nido Chris Alter is only really beating her out, even without the arts buff here, only on the first wave. The second wave, because Space Ishtar is stacking NP damage, she is going to eclipse her on wave two and then far eclipse her by wave three. And then even if Nido Chris is fighting someone where she gets the man attribute, dude, getting that arts buff is very significant because then at that point, it allows her to triple buff herself, right? And that just gives her insane amounts of damage, right? It is, as I say right here, notably 100% free damage, right? Because as long as you get the arts buff, 
you're absolutely chilling. And if you really are that like upset about trying to get the 80% chance, if you're like, ooh, a four out of five chance, not good enough for me, bro, just go ahead and slap on this CE, bro. Just go ahead and slap that on there. It's a three star. I know it only brings her up to 95%, but if you are like that concerned about getting that arts buff, then you can slap that on there, right? Again, this is not considering uh, people like Castoria, right? Because Castoria pretty much fixes a lot of the problems that like some of these guys have, like say missing space Ishtar's arts buff or Castoria gives her the arts buff, right? Uh, like, or like Kama not having an attack buff, I believe is what she's missing. Um, you know, Castoria is able to give her that. Like same thing for Nidocris. Nidocris only gives herself a special damage mod, an arts buff, a notably big arts buff, and then an NP buff on her overcharge, right? So like uh, Castoria kind of fixes that for like all of these people, right? Uh, Castor is just kind of the good. This is kind of just looking at how good they are as a servant because, again, my philosophy for support type servants is that they should not be working on fixing the servant. They should be working on elevating that servant, right? Because if you're spending time trying to fix the servant and elevate them to a more playable level, then you're not really going to bring them to the other heights that other servants could be reaching that were already really good. And really, I kind of see Ishtar as kind of like that complete package right like she's already got everything that she needs it's really just relying on this 80 percent chance um comma summer i do think i would say that i think comma summer is better than needle chris alter but i don't know maybe consider this a warning for like when summer six comes out this was a very very weird servant to like look at when comparing with some of the other ones over here because comma has a lot of different variables uh, variables you could be looking at now this is obviously the worst one where you run into like an enemy and the charm fails because then I mean, she'll still be like looking okay with the burning love thing. If you don't know what that is, that's her third skill right here, where like if you attack with her uh, normal cards before you NP, she gets extra damage. You just, again, got to make sure that you don't waste your uh, comma cards in the rotation, right? You know how there's 15 cards in rotation in FGO, blah, 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 blah. You can like kind of manage what you find, all that good stuff. You got to make sure that you at least have those two cards to make sure that comma is going to be looking really, really good. So as long as you're not being a dingus, you can be good on that front, but yeah, it's um definitely like a very more RNG servant, as I've kind of noticed here. And I think, again, she could still kind of beat out Needle Chris Alter, but it's very awkward in the way, right? Because you'll look at um different like damage sheets and everything, or like people are like, oh man, Kama is so insane because she could do so much damage. And it's like, well, that's kind of actually not true, right? Because you look at her second skill, her second skill is built very weird. And I found that I actually, as time goes on, do not like this design very much because this gives her free NP damage and you might be like ZTL, that's really good. It multiplies into the arts buff. It gives her big damage. Like what's the deal? Well, it also does the charm and the charm is what allows her to do this insane damage right here, but you can't carry that over to other nodes, right? You can't carry this to your, the other nodes that you're going to go ahead and do. So if you're going to go ahead and pop it, you know, you're going to end up being like, oh, you're going to have this insane turn one damage, but then you're going to peter off because you're going to lose your special damage bond there. Unless, you know, you have some other servant that you're bringing along with you that can also charm somebody, right? I don't know. You're bringing like your max scoped Yurio to also shoot somebody and charm them. But then at that point, you know, for like wave three, wouldn't... <laughs> I don't, I don't think you really need it because Uriel will probably do enough damage. I don't know. You, you could probably do some wacky setup, right? That's just an off the cuff thing that I just thought of, right? But it's kind of why um, it, it, she's gotten a little bit more wonky because if you don't want to waste it, you're missing out on that NP damage. And so then your first two nodes are looking really bad, but then you get this really big final node, which is kind of what you want ideally. Like ideally you want to do a lot of your damage on turn three because turn three is where you're getting those really, really big enemies. You don't need this big damage right here. But I don't know. It is fine. I found that she's a little, little wonky to use. And I feel like this is probably the best way to go ahead and use her is, yeah, probably go ahead and fire it turn one, even though I don't like doing that. Your turn two might be a little more mid, but then your wave three is going to be looking good. Although for people wondering, why can't you just do this for wave two and three? This is your 50% battery. Uh, this is your 50% battery. You may need it sometimes uh, because of comma having lower NP gain at 52%. Not too low, but it just being a little bit lower, right? Again, still think that these two, I think it probably goes like Space Ishtar. I'd probably just from my own personal preference say that I like Ibuki a little more than comma just because the design irks me a little bit. And then comma Needle Chris Alter, right? Again, I think that's by design because she's the free version of the character. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. This was something that I was kind of thinking about because I've been seeing some chatter about it online. 
you know, people being like, oh, this new Nidocris Altar Servant came out. She's super insane. Should I even bother like summoning for Kama, right? Like I've seen some NA players being like, do I skip Kama for this lady? I'm like, dude, that is two years in the future you've got time like if you want to summon for kama by all means go summon for kama right and this was this was by the way me like talking about how kama has like a lot of different rng and stuff that you could kind of go into um is not to like take a dookie on summer kama right like i'm not trying to say that she's bad or anything again i think this is fine like i think that's pretty good again you're not uh it'll mean that you're like wave threes are going to be a little bit awkward but again i think she's still fine although i will say the nice thing about space ishtar in particular for arts farming is that you don't have to waste this turn one these calcs right here are using the 20 percent np damage on the third wave because you don't have to pop this immediately you usually would have popped this to change her to a buster or a quick servant but she's naturally an art servant so if you can save this for wave three you can get an 80 percent np damage buff on the third wave and really get some nice damage going especially if you can get this uh 80 percent arts buff right here um especially if you also want to plug suit in an oberon you know oberon is loving he's like oh you've got like um black grail plus an 80 percent np buff on this turn the buster buff who cares about that i mean you could swap to a buster at that point if you really cared about it but then he's like i just care about gassing up all that np damage so that's kind of like an interesting thing that you can do with a uh, space ishtar is that you can just swap an oberon since you saved the thing since the last wave you could swap the buster and get that big buster buff as well but i feel like it's not as good because you're also going to have the um uh the castoria arts buffs right you're gonna have like that potentially 120 percent arts buff that you have going on but i don't know it might be funny to do i don't know if you you can do it if, if you think it's funny but yeah let me know your thoughts in the comments down below guys uh, again been seeing a lot of chatter on it been seeing some people in the comments kind of bring it up been seeing some discussion in like discords twitter stuff along those lines and you guys know that i love to do me a good um discussion video i also am just now noticing that the pictures over here on the side that i've been referencing are kind of cut off because of the other tabs but you guys know who they are you can still see the names you know you can see the little arm of comma or whatever but yeah i'd love to hear your guys thoughts in the comments down below um see if there's any reason that other people disagree but you guys know me big number guy i love breaking things down and i'm like man when i see when i see my space ishtar doing big numbers like this you know neuron activation but yeah with all that being said uh, you guys have just a nice day and i will catch you guys in the next video